Tyler here with the GP Knives, and today we're going to present some items that we've picked out as our Father's Day gift recommendations. These recommendations range anywhere from soft goods like wallets to everyday carry items like flashlights, folding and fixed blade pocket knives, and other utilitarian EDC tools. Let's get started. A great option for a Father's Day gift is replacing your dad's worn out wallet with a new one. A great choice is the SE Izula Gear wallet. It's made from heavy duty nylon. It's made in the US and it is exceptionally durable and offers plenty of organization. You've got a loop on the back here that allows it to be attached to a belt. And then it is a basic trifold. Comes with an SE information card. You've got some mesh panels for IDs and cards. Some pockets on the side for cards as well. You can attach this to a lanyard so the wallet can be worn around the neck and under the shirt for a little more concealment. The inside of the bill pouch also has a security flap, so you can tuck your bills in here, fold that over, and that's going to keep them from falling out, as well as keeping them a little extra dry in wet conditions. We've got this wallet in two colors. We've got this khaki color with khaki trim and a black on black as well. And here are some more Maxpedition wallets. We've got this one here, which is a simple bifold, some card organization, sleeve here, ID sleeve, and a place for your paper money. Got this one here, which is another bifold, even more simplistic than the first one I just showed you. And it's a little smaller, still got the ID sleeve and some smaller sleeves for cards there. This is a trifold wallet, Velcro closure. You've got a mesh panel on the back for ID, lots of internal organization for cards and whatnot. These even Velcro down, so you got extra security. Cards aren't gonna just all fall out of there. And then another area here for bills. And this one here is also another trifold Velcro closure. Plenty of room for bills on the inside. Zippered pouch on the inside with some elastic here. You can use those for SD storage. And then we've also got a zippered pouch on the back. Use that for keys, coins, other small items. And another great option for replacing your dad's old worn out stuff is a new hat from Zero Tolerance. This hat is made in the US. We've got a US flag logo on the side, go bold on the back, and of course the ZT logo on the front. It is a flex bill, so you can adjust the angle of the bill, and this fits a large to extra large. It's got a nice elastic lining on the inside, and of course the hat is made in the USA. And in the same vein as the wallet, we've got some pocket organizers here. You've got the micro here. It's got a mesh panel on the front, so you can store some readily accessed items. And then we've got internal sleeves here and some elastic loops. This is great for pens and other small tools. And we've got this nylon loop on the back making it easy to access from the pocket. This is a similar one, just a little bit larger. You got the Velcro here so you can get an ID for whatever might be inside, be it a first aid kit or tools. And this one's got some more elastic loops, some larger ones so you can put a flashlight. It's got a key leash or other tool leash so you can put something in these internal pockets and be able to draw it out easily. This one also has MOLI compatible looping on the back, so this would be easy to mount to the outside of a pack or a load bearing vest. And here are a couple of great little EDC gadgets that no one should be without. We've got a titanium spork. This is a nice lightweight eating tool that is easy to carry with you every day in case you don't find any silverware and you happen to need some. Uh, this handy tool is a credit card tool from Nemesis Knives. This is a rainbow anodized 
credit card size multi-tool. You've got a cutting edge here that can be used for both utility and self-defense options in a last ditch situation. You got a cutout here which allows you to hold the card in a very secure fashion. And then of course, most importantly, we've got a bottle opener tool here so you can always open your favorite brew. And last but not least, we've got a titanium money clip from Vargo. This is a super lightweight option for carrying your cash and cards. It's got a nice bit of flex there. You tuck a couple cards and some bills in there, and it is gonna add almost no weight to your everyday carry loadout. Next up, we've got EDC lights. These are all relatively small, lightweight lights. They're LED output, and they range anywhere between 45 and 500 lumen output. Now, the first light is a very popular light. It's the S10R Baton. This is from Olight. This is a rechargeable light. It has a maximum output of 500 lumens, so it is very bright for its size. And this is going to be an excellent option for a higher output EDC light. Now this one is a little bit larger than the rest, but the features overall, including the rechargeability, the high output, multiple modes, and it does come with a charging dock as well and a battery. So those are going to outweigh any size issues that might come into play. Next up, we've got the 4.7's Prion. Now this happens to be a limited run in copper, so this is gonna be a little bit heavier, but we do have that available also in the standard aluminum that is gonna come in black or blue. And this light is a two output mode, so you have a 100 lumen output for the maximum, and this light is gonna run on one AAA sized battery. Next up, we have the Olight IS3 EOS. This is another AAA battery option. It does have a removable clip that allows you to attach it to a keychain as well as a nice pocket clip if you want to carry it in like a shirt pocket. This has a maximum output of 80 lumens and features a low output of 20 and a moonlight of 0.5 lumens. And next up, we've got the 4.7's Atom AL. AL stands for aluminum. This is a nice, tiny little light. It's got a max output of 110 lumens. This runs off of a fairly common CR123A battery. The handy feature about this light is that it does have a magnetic end cap, and I'll demonstrate that here. And so you can see that even on this stainless steel knife, it easily magnetizes to that and makes for great hands-free operation. And last but not least, we have the Night Court tube. This is actually my own personal tube, and I've been carrying this for going on three months. I love it, it's a super handy light. It's got two output modes. You've got a low output, which is a 0.5 lumen, and then we've got a high output, which is, there we go, a high output mode, which is 45 lumen, 45 lumens is plenty bright for almost any task that I would ever need, and I actually find myself using the 0.5 lumen moonlight mode more than anything. The other upside to this light is that it is micro USB rechargeable, so you can just plug it into your phone charger to charge the light up. All right, well that concludes our soft goods, EDC lights, and everyday carry gadgets and gizmos. We're gonna move on to the serious hard goods. Of course, I'm talking about knives. You see before you a small selection of the knives that I've picked out as great Father's Day gift options. If you wanna see what else I've picked out and see why I've picked out what I have, please subscribe to the YouTube channel feed, like the video below, and keep an eye out later on in the week for the next video, which is gonna be all about knives. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives. Thanks for watching and stay sharp.